Hello there, everyone. The Andrade here, and welcome back to episode 35 of our FTB Skies Let's Play series, uh, where today we are wrapping up our playing of this pack. Uh, we talk about it when we get in there, so uh, stick around to figure out what's going on, why, and everything like that, but we're starting a new pack tomorrow. Uh, so let's go out with a bang by blowing up a whole bunch of chance cubes and seeing what we can get. Let's get started. Welcome back, my friends, to another wonderful evening here in the world of the Andrada, where today, ah, uh, well, my backpack, my jetpack is not on? Jetpack? Hello? Oh, I must have stored it in there because I was playing around with this jet suit. Uh, where today, well, last episode, we had wrapped up um, exploring some of our planets and everything, getting into Ad Astra. Uh, where's the jetpack slot? Go. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, we had explored, played around with uh, going to some of the other planets and locations that we're able to travel to. Um, I, in between episodes, went ahead and upgraded everything to the final tier. So we have a tier four rocket here. As we did last episode, we had gotten the, um, oh, what is that stuff called? Uh, the Calorite. So I just taught the system how to make all the things and then crafted it. Bada bing, bada boom. We ended up with a tier four rocket uh, and we got all of the. Why did you come off my head? Also, why do I have night vision goggles? And maybe that's why there was that weird flickering going on. If you remember that or did, where did those come from? I don't even know. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, we did some exploration. We did some things and visit all our planets. So I got our tier four rocket here for us. Uh, ready to go. I also got ourselves the jet suit from Ad Astra. Now the jet suit's pretty decent armor overall. I mean, it's it's on par with uh, a little better than Netherite. You can see we have four armor and five toughness, whereas we have three armor and three toughness there. Uh, so armor wise, it's better. It also can be enchanted, so we can go ahead and throw all of the enchants that we would want onto this um, and end up with better overall boots durability is better as well so ultimately better gear um however our gear is already pretty pretty cracked and everything so i'm not too concerned about it uh as for the flight that comes with the jet suit um the flight is uh let me turn the engine off here the flight is like an elytra so you can press space uh and i'm going up if i double tap space or is it control or is it shift? It's supposed to. Oh. I thought it was supposed to. My hover. It's actually. It looks like it's uh, interfering with my hovering with my other jetpack because I'm not hovering. Or is that just because the engine is off? That must be because the engine is off. Yeah. Anyway, it's supposed to act like an elytra, but I can't seem to elytra it out. I thought the description would, was supposed to tell me too. Or maybe it was in the quest book. Uh, I was going through looking at some of the end game quests going on here. Uh, but we're looking at, there we go, to the stars, uh, jet suit. Uh, while powered, hold space to fly and hold space and control to boost like an elytra. That's what I was doing. Oh, there we go. I have to hold control. There it is. So if I hold control down, now I can fly like an elytra. However, I'm probably, yep, I'm in the uh, swimming animation. But when as soon as I let go of control, whoop, I go back into normal mode. OK, pretty cool. Uh, so that's the flight that is from Ad Astra. So I think today's episode, what we're going to do uh, is go visit our final planet, which is Glacio. As far as I understand, that's the tier four rocket allows me access to Glacio. It says there's nothing there, but for uh, completion sake, we're going to go on over there. Um, and then I think that uh, today is probably uh, going to end up being the last episode of uh, FTB Skies. I think I've gotten everything that I wanted out of it for refreshing uh, my memory on how to play modded Minecraft. Um, and I feel like you guys feel the same way because viewership of the series has absolutely tanked in the latest episodes. Um, talking like 20 views a day, if that, and everything like that. So, uh, I mean, it is an older pack and everything, so I totally understand. You know, it, it's been seen and been done. So I think we're going to jump into our next pack starting tomorrow. 
Um, which I'll leave for tomorrow to tell you what that pack is going to be about. Uh, but outside of, I mean, Ad Astra here, really, there's not, I mean, yes, we have pretty much everything in the magic section, but I don't really want to dive into magic. Uh, I want to allow myself in an, in whatever the next series is, um, to explore the magic portion of things because we didn't get to really dive into it now um and because i didn't get to dive into it and i'm so teched up it'd be pretty easy to just jump through everything uh, and i want to be able to progress through it uh so i don't want to like immediately just be able to jump straight to highest tiers because like i mean we have terra steel we could jump straight to the highest tiers of a lot of stuff because we got terra steel from exploration because as we know exploration in this pack is cracked uh, so we got terra steel nuggets and we can use those to make elven gateways and we can make nature of pylons and i mean yes granted we don't have a ton ton of terra steel um but i mean we have a decent enough amount i could even make the b um spawn egg terra spawn egg i think do i have one of these e even something i may even have i don't even know egg no it's experience but anyway uh they, they, like, like batania is available to us ours nouveau but again i'm so geared up in OP and tech that I don't necessarily feel like it. I also didn't get into create, but the next pack that I'm getting into uh, is going to be kind of create heavier or at least utilizes create a lot through its processes. So we'll see create for sure, make a return in next uh, in the next series. And then outside of that, I mean, everything else is just, I mean, overpowered and everything of, or obviously is always fun. It won't even open the overpowered. Uh, you know, getting the creative stuff, uh, you know, like a creative blaze cake or, uh, you know, creative energy cells and controllers and stuff like that. All, I mean, yeah, it's fun and all that stuff. But uh, with the way viewership is going on this pack, it seems like y'all are bored. Honestly, I mean, not that I, I'm not necessarily bored of the pack, but uh, kind of sort of a little bit M and everything. It doesn't offer terribly too much left and it would just be a lot of auto crafting and stuff. So. Yeah, anyway, that's my thought process. That's where we're at. So uh, expect today is probably not going to be the longest episode. As you can tell, I'm dragging things out a little bit so that we we can, uh, you know, get to Glacio, go do our exploration, and then wrap up with my thoughts of the pack. So uh, are we ready? Yes? No? Maybe so? Either way, that's what's happening. So let's get going. Let's take ourselves off. We're going to Glacio to see what wonders does this cavern hold, uh, or planet, should I say, Glacio. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see what, I mean, there's nothing there, but what is it? I'm assuming based on the name Glacio, it's going to be like an ice based planet, um, cause Glacio glacier. Uh, so it's going to be a cold planet. Mercury and Venus were very hot. So it would make sense for this to be, uh, ice. It's also orbiting a different star. It is in the Alpha Centauri system, which is the closest star to earth. Um, so, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, Proxima Centauri, not Alpha Centauri. So actually, where is Proxima Centauri? I don't even know. Alpha Centauri is the closest star to Earth. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to go visit uh, Glacio. The temperature is negative 20 degrees Celsius, which honestly isn't that terrible, right? Am, am, am I correct in that statement that negative 20 degrees Celsius isn't too cold? Like, uh, if we convert uh, negative negative 20 c to fahrenheit because you know this is america and we have to be complicated uh negative four degrees fahrenheit that's not that bad actually ultimately i've had colder temperatures when i lived in ye old ohio uh many many moons ago so it's really not that bad this is a this is a winter uh a mild american winter planet here granted it probably doesn't ever warm up here oh man i almost crushed that thing that would have been very entertaining uh, yeah, it doesn't ever warm up, but it would be like, uh, interstellar, you know, that cold planet that they lived on with, uh, Ooh, Proxima Centauri looks pretty awesome there. Um, yeah, Glacian Rams and they give me nothing because I killed this with looting and I got nothing out of it. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, like Interstellar when they went to the uh, ice planet, Dr. Dr. Man's planet and everything. I love that movie. The music in it is just phenomenal. The movie itself is good. Uh, I know a lot of people don't dig it because the whole, you know, Tesseract and everything is confusing. But, you know, 
I'm a science guy. So anyway, Glacio, other than Proxima Centauri, looking pretty dang cool up in the sky and m absolutely massive. Uh, the Quest book told us there really wasn't much to expect, and it looks to be that is the case because... Uh, oh, wait, what was that? If I press L, I can whistle. Is that for like a dog, if I have a dog? Also, it looks like the night vision from my helmet is absolute. Oh, because I don't have that helmet on anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. I was like, man, that night vision is butts. But that's just because I don't have night vision. OK, there we go. Now I can see. Oh, that also explains why my world went dark earlier when I put this on. And I was like, oh, wow, that's so cool looking. What happened? It's because I didn't have night vision and I was actually seeing night for the first time in the pack uh, in a while. Uh, so, yeah, Glacio Stone, we got Glacio Coal Ore, some copper, it looks like. Nothing too exciting there. I don't think that Glacio has anything um, exclusive to it. Ice Shard Ore, which is going to allow me to make, um, what's that called? Uh, cryo Fuel, if I so desired. But honestly, we don't need because we can just use regular fuel from our oil. Trying to see if there's any structures, because they said that there weren't going to be any structures on uh, Mercury, right? The quest book said nothing's going to be on Mercury. If we go here, uh, both planets have Calorite ore, but it's a barren wasteland. Uh, but there was a there was like a bastion in or there. There were aliens, right? We had the uh, the. The. Uh, Piglin aliens. So maybe there's a structure here, but I mean, so far what I'm seeing is not a lot of much. I see some lava. I'm trying to beat world gen here and then I can have x-ray vision for a minute. But now world gen's catching up. There we go. Uh, yeah, world gen's catching up to me. OK, nothing too exciting there. And if I pop onto the map, yeah, Glacio is just. Just glaciers, snow, ice, water, all of that good stuff. So we have completed Ad Astra. Pretty much gotten everything we can out of Ad Astra. And I'm not going to complain about it. I did leave my rocket over there and I didn't put a um, matter receiver down. So we're not going back there unless I build myself another rocket. Though, again, uh, do I need to go back there? I do not believe so. Okay. Uh, so with that being said, uh, if today's going to be the last episode, uh, oh man, I really should have went back to Glacio because at this point, if I'm going to end uh, end the episode or end the series, I might as well open up chance cubes. Yes. I mean, we've got these sitting on us and have not done anything with them. So we might as well go ahead and see uh, what in the world the chance cubes are going to offer us. I think we can go to, honestly, I'm trying to think, We're like, I don't really want to have to breathe. I don't want to put that netherite armor on. My armor's good. Chance cubes can be very dangerous. Um, so I'd like to keep my armor on. I also don't want to go to, like, the moon because there's lun those Lunarians, and they can be a pain because they're going to attack us. So I guess the end is probably going to be the safest bet for us to put this down um, because I don't have to deal with... Uh, Uh, the, the breathing portion of things. So I think, I mean, bedrock and obsidian is pretty, uh, pretty tough stuff, isn't it? Let's go ahead and place the chance cube down. And do I need to offhand this, open hand this to open it up? Or do I need to break it? Oh, I got the giga breaker efficiency 10 and fortune three. Okay. Not going to complain about that. That's pretty good. What was that? I mean, that was a ghast. Did it do anything? Or was it just the sound of a gas? Okay. Huh, run. Okay. That was a golden apple named Notch. Okay. Did that do anything? Nope. That one was nothing. That one is nothing. Can I, like... What is it says chance value random. There are chance pendants. Increases the chance of chance cubes by plus 10. 
Like, I'm trying to understand. What does that mean? Because, like, I got... There were, like, three of those that did nothing for me. What is this? A compact giant chance cube? That looks interesting. I need echo shards for that. And you actually can't craft it. Okay. Um, and chance cubes are only found in chests. Okay. Like, I want to know... Silk touch. Uh, okay, you can retrieve them. Like this tier three chance pendant. Let's see what this is about. So we got a tier one chance pendant. And then we can go ahead and upgrade that to tier two. 25% chance. And then a tier three. So I'm going to assume now I have a high. It's a plus 50 when the block is broken. It is not a percentage increase. I think I did say percentage. But that allows the chance cube to um, work better. Like there's more of a chance of us actually having something interesting happen. There's nothing else from this mob. Chance cube scanner. Does that tell me what's inside of it? If I use my chance cube. Oh, okay. And then I scan it. Meow. 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 Doesn't doesn't seem to be anything happening with this. Okay. All right, well, let's uh, have some chance happen. Did you know? By chance cubes, copy of a copy. Did you know? Funway Guy created the original D20 model in animation. Cool. Interesting. Bam. Okay, what did I get that time? A bunch of junk. Now, is this being used? Okay, durability to get used up there. Let's go ahead and put all this stuff away. Got some coal. Wow. I want something exciting to happen. I got a big stick. Uh, we got a nice bow. It's only got one shot available to it, but power five, punch three, and flame two. And if next time I use it, it would break. This is a stick with sharpness five on it. That's entertaining. Um, you. We got SpongeBob. Oh, and square pants. <laughs> That's kind of funny. SpongeBob, square pants. All right, next. Nothing. Oh, bunch of bunnies. Cuteness overload, it says. We can go ahead. I don't know why, but we can go ahead and do that. And we ended up with a diamond block for it. our trouble, you know, of having to slaughter all of those bunnies. We'll take that. You guys can go away. You can go away. You can go away. And let's fly to another one because now I got all these arrows over here. Oh, I was like, what is that? That was that ship. Uh, excuse me? What is happening? <laughs> Y'all are seeing this, right? What in tarnation is going on with those arrows? They're at, they are flying everywhere, it looks like, too. Okay. All right, interesting. Rip EXP. Ah, oh, it took my experience away. I didn't have any anyway. I had just stored it. Ha <laughs> ha. I win. Darko the Wise. Okay, got a head. Darko is like old school Minecraft, right? You've got magic feet. Oh, oh, that's cool. For 10 seconds, everywhere I'm stepping is turning into random ore. All right, that's pretty cool. Nether quartz ore, you get some diamond, you get some random ore. That'd be pretty cool in a normal pack. Uh, we got why not fire aspect two, fire additional fire damage when you attack a mob. Okay, an enchanting table, time to farm. Not we got some wheat seeds, a bucket, and an iron hoe. Okay, what else? Let's do multiple of them. Let's see what happens when I do this many of them all at once. All right. Do you want to build a snowman? How many bats are in your jan your your jan's X jar? You have 30 seconds to answer. Guess right, and you get 20 emeralds. But you lose one emerald per bat. You are off. Uh, 36. I was off by 46. Okay. Also, that only broke two before that ended up happening. Okay. Oh. Seems you have purchased the saplings DLC. Oh, okay, I got a bunch of saplings. I also got shot by a bunch of uh, arrows. Wolf spawning egg. 
I was hoping for a big boom or something like that. You know, that would be that's 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 that was my I want destruction. Let's go on a journey. Welcome back. Seth Bling here. I'm sure that is a reference to, uh, you know, ye olden days of Minecraft uh, that is just going over my head. So divine chest plate, blast protection, 10 thorns, 10 unbreaking 10. That's pretty good. OK, yeah, I wanted an explosion. I didn't get oh divine boots as well. That's actually pretty darn good boots. Um, but now I'm out of chance cubes, so nothing I can do other than can I make a nuke? No, I didn't get ether gas, so no nukes going on here so I can blow things up and end everything. Um, other than that, though, I think, yeah, that's going to wrap up this pack. Like I said, we did quite a lot. Um, and I'm pretty satisfied with where we ended up with the pack, ultimately. Um, not necessarily satisfied with my base design here. It is pretty lackluster overall. Um, my next series, I will do much better with base design and everything uh, and all of that. Uh, but yeah, I like this pack. This pack was very enjoyable. Um, I don't know why I just waved. Hello. Uh, it, it had a lot going for it, and it was a really good pack for me to get back into how all of the stuff works. Uh, so I thank FTB for that because it was very beneficial for me um, to getting me back into recording of Minecraft uh, and getting back into playing. Like I said, there was all, there's quite a few things that we left unfinished. Maybe one day we could come back. Who am I kidding? Probably not going to happen. Um, but with that being said, I give the pack probably overall, if I had to give it a rank, um, I'd probably give it a 8 out of 10, ultimately. Quests are nice. I love quests, as you guys know. I also love quests that have rewards. Um, not all quests here obviously have rewards, but I do love quests with rewards because it feels like I'm actually doing something and getting some uh, something for my effort of completing the quest because I don't always remember to go check the quests. But if there's rewards associated with them, I will check the quests more often. The next pack that I'm getting into is also very quest heavy. However, from what I understand, there are no rewards with it. But if you don't check the quests, you won't be able to progress very well in the pack. So, um, yeah. Anyway, with that being said, this is going to be the Andrada signing off for the final time here with FTB Skies. Uh, if you enjoyed today's episode and the series, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And I will see you tomorrow with our brand new series of... Haha, <laughs> you thought I was going to tell you. JK, bye.